of our video series and this is priming the walls on the interior of this new construction home and we're going to be we're going to be priming them with a PVA primer and you got to prime them with a PVA primer first to seal your drywall or sheetrock prior to painting it and we're going to be masking it just quickly throwing up some quick masking to get this priming process done and we're going to show you the masking and then we got our sprayer set up already out in the garage we don't want it inside the home we're going to be spraying it outside because we don't want our sprayer getting all covered with uh, overspray dust and getting all dirty. So we're gonna set up and then we're gonna begin priming these walls. And we're gonna be priming them quickly with a PVA primer. So we're just gonna show you that process and we're gonna show you the masking right now. We're just gonna be using a 3M hand masker. We're just gonna be using a box of uh, uh, 3M or actually some 3M bisqueen and it's cheap plastic to just mask some of the large windows and some of the large openings. So here we go, stay tuned. So we're going around masking all these windows right now with just a masking film. It makes our masking pretty fast. We'll be using some paper masking too on some of the doors and stuff, but we're getting all the windows masked off and there's very little masking that you have to do when you're priming. You're just shooting the primer. We're gonna be shooting the primer on the walls and the ceilings, but there's nothing in here. There's no cabinets, there's no flooring in here. So we're basically just covering the windows and then the doors and then we'll begin the priming process with the PVA primer. If you haven't ever used one of these hand masters, I do have videos that will show you how to mask windows fast and how to actually use these hand masters. We've got a video right here that will teach you how to use the hand master. Just click on that video and it'll take you right to that video or it'll take you to the video to show you how to use that hand master. So we're just continuing on this masking and we'll begin the spray. We've got my sprayer set up outside and we'll begin spraying here pretty soon. Now John's continuing the masking inside and I've got the sprayer set up out here and I'm going to be spraying the walls now. I'm going to be using a 30 inch gut extension right here to make my reach a lot better. This is a single story house with just 8 foot ceilings so I'll be able to reach everything with a 30 inch extension. I'm also using a 1221 tip because I'm going to spray this thing and spray it fast. I'm going to spray the whole 2,300, 2,300 square feet of this house really fast. So using a 1221 tip, got my sprayer set up at just 2,200 PSI, and we'll get the get going spraying. I've got about, um, about 30 gallons of this PVA primer set up out here to begin this spraying process. So I'm gonna take you inside and show you how I go about spraying it now. So I'm gonna begin spraying the primer now in this first room. I'm starting on one corner of the house and I'll be spraying the primer. And I don't need it to be super heavy, but I want to get a good, uh, nice coverage, good coat of primer on there, get it soaked in and seal this drywall up or sheetrock. And I'm gonna be spraying the ceiling first, and then I'll be spraying the walls. And you want to have, I'm gonna be spraying the ceiling up here. You want to have your rooms, all your rooms, completely clear so you can have freedom to walk back and forth and not stop. When I'm spraying, I'm not gonna be releasing my trigger pretty much only probably a couple times in this whole room. So I'm gonna be spraying extremely fast, not releasing my trigger. So I wanna be able to just walk everywhere and spray fast. So here we go.
So we're just cruising right along, just spraying this primer. This is a PVA primer, and this is a really important step to painting uh, new drywall or bare uh, sheetrock or drywall. You've got to seal that drywall to um, get it sealed so your top coat of paint will bond and not actually peel off when you do any masking on it. It's very important. We use a PVA primer, and those are specifically to seal new drywall and seal the texture that's been applied to the drywall. So don't forget to use that PVA primer. A lot of people try to skip that step and that to save money or go cheap, but that's uh, a big mistake. So we're applying this PVA primer and just, um, you don't have to apply it too thickly, just a nice thin coat. Uh, some people actually water their PVAs down, but we don't water it down, just using it straight out of the five. And we're applying it and it dries extremely fast. And then we apply the top coat over it the same day. So I'm continuing to spray right along, getting all dusty and dirty. And this is one type of painting I really don't like doing, but I'm doing it to make this video series, so hopefully you enjoy it. I've almost got the PVA primer done, and the PVA primer dries extremely fast, and as soon as I get done, we're going to be reloading up the top coat, and I'm going to be spraying the top coat, and that'll be the third part of our video series. And uh, if you want to see that part, the third part, just click on my video right here, how to apply the top coat in this new construction process. Click on the video right here to go to uh, video number three in this series. This is how we improvise here at Being and Your Painting, aka the Idaho Painters Painting Company. He's trying to create a shield holder. <laughs> 